Hey guys, Scotty Tuquati here. What I have here today is a Tyro 69 and my iFlight uh, Turbo B 124S. Really love this Turbo B, it's so fun to fly. The camera on this is much better than, the, than that you're gonna get on the, the uh, Tyro 69. And like I said, it just flies like a dream. But, but, and there is a but, this Tyro 69 is a a whooper man i mean on 2s it is much faster i feel than even my iflight on 4s on 2s it's a rocket now when you put that to 3s my goodness it is it's lightning and you can hear it throughout the neighborhood it's flying at my favorite little obstacle park here i can't take it too high because of the power lines but yeah I think really that this uh, this Tyro 69 is probably one of those models that a lot of these reviewers on YouTube don't really want to promote that much just because they can make more off of something like the iFlight uh, Turbo B which is you know this one's $129 to $145 depending on the receiver whereas this you can get when they're on sale you can get what two to three of them for just a little under the price of something like the Turbo B 4S. Don't get me wrong, guys. Love this iFlight Turbo B. But you know what? The bottom line is the amount of fun you're going to have with this build and with this quad because, like I said, it is so freaking fast. The only thing is going around turns. I'm not used to flying with a bi-blade compared to uh, the tri-blades. But, uh, yeah, it took a little bit of getting used to, but it's just like driving somebody else's car. You get used to it after a few flights. And I'm telling you, if you don't have one of these, you owe it to yourself to get one fly it on 2 and 3s if you were going to fly it on 3s i do not recommend flying with a tri-blade because i think you're going to burn out that motor and even though the escs say they can handle it i think that's just too much of a load i tried it last night just hovering in my house and it was the motors got pretty hot on 3s on 2s it was warm but on 3s on this puppy today whoo my goodness what did i do to that i i had mine actually uh I'm kind of liking the blades out, so everything spins outward, reverse rotation. Uh, the camera mounting, the way I did mine is I had to put some hot glue to keep that camera in because when you put that in, it's just going to jiggle all over the place. And watch Drone Mesh's video on how to secure the VTX. I mean, it's not going anywhere. I've had some pretty bad crashes today, and this thing is holding up. I really thought that this was going to be a problem, this canopy, because everything was so exposed, but I hit trees, I hit the ground. I'm not flying this one over asphalt or concrete. You know, that's for you experienced kick butt guys out there, but I'm not going to do that. Um, what else? Oh yeah, the receiver went in nicely underneath the stack. So the two people's videos that I watched was Drone Mesh's video on how to build this and also Drone Camp's RC because he shows you how to really mount this uh, receiver in the right location get everything that tight fit fit to look just right and still to look semi clean i mean i'm not the cleanest build but this one is came out better than uh how i saw like like kebab i know he's he's awesome as heck you know but you know he's got his own stuff to sell and granted that he's remarkable as heck you know and i i trust every almost every word he says but you know they don't want to promote something like this it's 60 bucks of fun they're not making money off of this you know come on but anyway guys if you don't have one you owe it to yourself get one try it out um i'm going to keep flying here and maybe have some video later but i'm just going to upload this to youtube right away just want to let you guys know have a great weekend scotty tuquati signing out